Leo, my fire energy, we're just going to cut to the damn chase and get right into it, Leo, and see what's going on with you and what you should know in case you're missing something, okay, or what's coming your way, what's going on around your energy spirit. So for our Leo spirit, we're going to tell Leo, okay, you have a page of cups here. For some of you guys in reverse, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a child that's, that's like unruly right now. Very fucking disrespectful. For some of you guys, you may find out that your child is pregnant. Okay, and I'm also getting energy too, Leo. Um, <laughs> for some of you guys, people, folks, even though, listen, age don't mean shit. On a grown woman's scale, you have people around you, Leo, that's talking behind your back. For some of you guys, you are pregnant. Um, for some of you guys, you are pregnant with ideas. You are pregnant with um, wealth. And it's time to push. Okay, it's time to get that baby push on and to go ahead on and deliver. It's no longer time for you to hold yourself back. This can also mean, too, with the Page of Cups here in reverse, you're holding yourself back, too, as well. But I'm getting a lot of jealous energy, too, around you. Um, If you notice, this woman here is wearing red. You need to follow your passion, Leo, okay? Straight up, point blank, period. I do feel like for some of you guys, you may have a child that is high, that is hiding the fact that they are pregnant too as well. Okay? Give me another card here too, Spirit. For some of you guys, you may even be going through some type of creative blockages. Okay? Um, you're, I, I'm getting the energy like you're overthinking. I'm getting energy too. Okay, thank you, Spirit. For some of you guys, you may feel like you may not have like that youthful look. Or you may, because I'm, listen, on a female point of view, from a female aspect, they put so much pressure on females on social media. The way you have to look, the way you this. And I always say there is a platform for everybody. You need to just go with it, Leo, because whatever it is, I feel like you're going to be prosperous at it. The Empress here, okay? But like I said, I do feel like for some of you guys, you have a younger child that could possibly be pregnant. The child could be defiant too as well. Okay. Look at here the judgment card. Card. Uh call here. Card here. The judgment card is in reverse. So what I'm gonna tell you is also too, Leo. I'm getting energy. The judgment card in reverse is all about someone not answering the call. Someone's not taking responsibility. Someone is putting the blame on you. Um, in the middle of the all, in, of it all, Leo, you are the empress, okay? I'm also getting energy of the judgment card in reverse. Something is being held back. Something is not spoken. Something is not being announced so that everyone can hear. Leo, you know what that possibly, what that could be. The two of cups here, there could be a separation with the relationship. Could be dealing with Pisces energy, Somebody's not listening here. That's 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 what I want to say. Somebody's not listening here. Tell us more about this page of cups here in reverse here, spirit for um Leo. What's this page of cups here in reverse here? You see what I'm saying? Leo, somebody is obsessed with you. Dealing with the Capricorn. I'm not saying it's a Capricorn, but somebody's obsessed with you, Leo. And this judgment card just revealed to me, Leo. You keep giving this person a fucking chance over and over again. It could possibly even be a sibling, okay? This person does not have good intentions for you, okay? You keep giving someone here, I feel like with the judgment card here, the benefit of the doubt, this person does not have fucking good intentions um, towards you. Hold on. You have an obsessive type of energy around you. Very childish, very fuckerish. And while you're busy here minding your business and birth and shit, someone here is planting seeds around you and being very jealous of you, Leo, that I will tell you. I feel like you're being watched. Okay. You may even have a sense about this person, but 
you don't have all the information or all the enlightenment. Someone around you really does make you feel kind of uncomfortable or you feel that this person have like very jealous energy. You may even be dealing with someone here too that cannot have children. Someone could be jealous of you that you have children or you just make shit happen. Someone here is obsessed, very obsessive with you. They try to make you feel like they are bigger than you. They try to undermine you. This could even be a love interest, okay? Someone does not want you to tap into this empress spirit. And this is someone who does this, this shit over a period of time, okay? Let me see. What's this empress card here in reverse? I'm sorry, it's not in reverse. What's this empress card here? Okay, the temperance card. I am told you they're angry. Could be dealing with Sagittarius energy. You got a lot of major arcanas here. Uh, arcanas here. Um, the lovers card. I said it could be a lovers. Okay, this is Gemini energy here in reverse. Someone here is very much so off balance. Hold on. I'm also getting energy like, even though I do feel like you are the Empress Leo, I do feel like there's someone who comes across like as if though they are the Empress, but they're really fucking evil as fuck. This person is really jealous of you. This person does not... Look to the higher calling with the judgment card here in reverse. They do some childish shit. You, Leo, may be on the sense of that maybe this person is possibly harmless. But I don't know. I'm getting a shift here. The lover's card here in reverse. You could have been broken up or separating from this individual. Not talking to this person anymore. You could possibly have been dealing with someone in a relationship, a romantic relationship that was more than likely jealous of you too as well. Heavy female energy, okay? Heavy female energy, but I'm also getting energy of someone being jealous of you. What's this judgment card here in reverse here? For Leo. Shit. I want to take this. Judgment card here in reverse here for Leo. Did I not tell you something was going to be re revealed? This is the Seven of Swords here. You're going to find out something about someone. Someone could possibly could, could possibly have been trying to block you, doing spell work to cause like uneven balance in your life, somebody trying to block you. This could be possibly someone that you possibly have even looked up to. Leo, the one you least suspect. Maybe that's what I need to name this. Okay, I'm getting this to as well. This Seven of Swords in reverse. What's going to be revealed here to Leo? I just seen the Ten of Pentacles, so they could possibly be dealing with a family member. Okay, this Seven of Swords in reverse here. What is it that you want Leo to know? What is it that was revealed here, Spirit? What deception here was revealed here, Spirit, for Leo? For Seven of Swords here in reverse. What was revealed? Okay, the Magician. How it was all orchestrated is what I'm getting here. The Five of Pentacles. Why you was left out in the cold. Why you was isolated. Someone caused you to be isolated or neglected or had people turn against you. I feel like at some point this person was very trusting, like, like, like you would like you really trusted this person. The devil there all along is what I'm hearing. Someone here that you're entrusting, but this person is. The devil and a magician. So this is dark work, temperance. Someone trying to really throw you off their path. Someone is really jealous of you, judgmental. This person here has no fucking soul.
tells me about this seven of swords here in reverse here and this magician. I just seen the eight of swords here. For some of you guys, this person may even be in your mental space, okay? For some of you guys, you may even be having suicidal thoughts and shit. It's due to this person. For some of you, Leo, you're dealing with obsessive thoughts too as well. I'm getting for some of you dealing with like a de depression, thinking with a judgment card here, like some, some certain things were not changed. This is when it's getting ready to take a twist. It's getting ready to take another different route. With this seven of swords in reverse, it's also saying too, like, don't self-sabotage yourself. Leo, you have all the tools that you need to move forward. But I'm getting energy like it's something here that, that's being betrayed, like as if though it's bigger than you. I mean, and it's not. You can slay this dragon, but you do have energy around you of jealous, manipulation, magic, someone doing dark work that I do see. Whatever it is that you're trying to birth here with this Empress car here, you're trying to get off the ground, the Temperance car in reverse. Someone is trying to throw you off balance. This person is easily always like the manipulative type of individual. This individual has no soul, I'm telling you. This devil card, his spirit, and the pairs of cups here in reverse. Someone could be jealous of you that you have a family. Someone could, someone could be jealous of you that you're a single mother or a father and you do the damn thing. And, 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 and you always have balance. And someone's trying to make an imbalance in your life. You have to be careful on what you're saying to a person. Because this energy, this Capricorn energy here, this devil card has given me energy of someone here who that you are confiding in. This is the biggest devil thus far around you. Someone who you possibly have trusted from childhood. And you have not seen the light in that individual yet. It, 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 this person has not been exposed to you yet. The devil card here in reverse here in this page of cups here in reverse. See here, the Queen of Pentacles here. Someone here who does not want the fucking best for you. Okay? Unstable type of energy. Someone here who wants bad things, bad luck to happen to you. What about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? This person don't even have as much as you do. This person's not as well kept as you are. Okay? You've been through some things, Leo, but this person is obsessively wanting to hurt you, obsessively wanting things to be off balance with you. They're tired of seeing you being blessed is what I'm hearing. And Leo, you may think like you like you don't have a lot, but you have a lot to this person. Their passion is being obsessed with you. OK, you got a lot of red energy on here. What is this queen of um, Pentacles here in reverse? See what I'm saying? Someone is disloyal, non-committal. This could even be a relationship, a romantic relationship. Someone here is non-committal. This person is not loyal to you, I'm telling you. Let me see. What is this Empress card here in reverse? And you, for some of you guys, you could possibly even be dealing with a relationship with someone where someone here is definitely here angry, I will say. For some of you guys, you could be pregnant with with, with um with the child, and you maybe not even with the father or with the mother, but they're angry on how you moved on and things are like working out for you because you got the empress here. Okay. But someone is definitely jealous of the way you look on um, Leo, is what I want to say. This person constantly get blockages and everything, but you're moving forward or they're trying to block you. The Empress card here and the Temperance here in reverse. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. This Empress card here. And, um, and, and you have a big liar around you. A big liar around you. So this person could possibly even talk you out of certain things. Someone here is very obsessed with sex. Okay. You could be dealing with the person who could be pregnant right now. Dealing with the person who's not loyal and who is obsessed with sex. They will fuck anything is what I'm getting here. Okay. And very controlling. Someone here wants to treat you like a damn child is what I'm getting here. And that's what this person's energy is all about with the judgment card here in reverse. They're not working with their higher self. Their only thing is to like to belittle you. Okay. This Empress card here. Shit. Too many cards here. This Empress card here and this Temperance card here in reverse. Empress and this Temperance card here in reverse for our Leos. 
You see the Eight of Swords here, but you release yourself from that bullshit. Look at how the Eight of Swords is here. You were, you, you were like practically killing yourself, staying around this energy. Okay? Staying around this energy. Now you're releasing yourself and you see clearly of that. Let me see, Spirit. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords here in reverse here for Leo. This Eight of Swords here in reverse here for Leo, Spirit. Four of Swords here. Now you want to go out with something new. Okay? So there's possibly have been a separation. But now you want to go out with something new. And for some of you guys, someone here wants to like recover with you. This devil, this Capricorn energy may even want to recover the relationship. But I feel like you're releasing yourself from things that changed, that, that, that had you chained and had you blind. And you can now see. Let me see this Seven of Swords here and this Magician. But you're definitely dealing with someone also here, too, that is dealing with dark magic. The devil, the magician here, okay, manipulating energy. Um, the seven of swords in reverse here, the magician here, spirit. Okay, like I said, the emperor card here dealing with unstable energy. Someone, Some of you guys were dealing with a physical abuse type of relationship. This person could have possibly hit you while you were pregnant. I'm getting like physical abuse, emperor. Something was revealed about your father or the father of the child that you're carrying or the mother. What is this emperor card here? Reverse your spirit. This emperor card here? Reverse. See, you hear the four of cups here. Five of Wands here. Someone wants to reconcile. Let me see. Tell us more about this judgment card in your spirit. Tell us more about this judgment card here in reverse your spirit. Judgment card could be also be like not speaking up or not revealing something, not saying something, or someone keep doing something over and over again. Like, like I said, they don't have no soul. They just do shit. What's this judgment card here in reverse here? For Leo, what you want to tell Leo, this judgment card here in reverse. See the four ones here. What's this? The seven of pentacles here in reverse. And the ace of cups here in reverse. Hold on. Someone here is definitely crying. Very upset. The four ones here is all about a home, family, family, you know. The Seven of Pentacles, something here going on for a long period of time, something been released, there's been a loss. Okay, the Ace of Cups here, like they cannot feel this cup back ever again. The Ace of Cups here. Angry. Let me see what's the bottom of the deck. The Nine of Pentacles here in reverse. Tell me more about this Four of Wands here, Spirit. What is this about? Someone could possibly be not happy with the family they're married into. What they're dealing with maybe the family gang up against you. What is this for a wise here, spirit for Leo? The six of pentacles. Yep, it's a power struggle here. Something here dealing with the home front, a power struggle here. Someone here not giving back like the way you give to them. There's a loss here. What about this seven of pentacles here? In reverse, went from the six of pentacles. Let me see this seven of pentacles here. In reverse. Okay, the four of pentacles here in reverse. It's about releasing. So let me see something. What is this ace of cups in reverse? The ace of cups in reverse. Okay, the ten of cups here. Like I was saying, the family situation not being happy. The judgment of this all, Leo, is that this person is not going to change. Okay, dealing with this person and staying in this relationship, um, you will lose a lot. This person is not going to give back to you like the way you want to give back, like the way you give to them. Spirit wants you to release this individual and not uh, hold this person to your heart anymore. Okay, take whatever it is, take your cut your losses and keep it moving. Um, because this person got you in tears or you got somebody else in tears. With this Ace of Cups here in reverse, like this cup will never be filled with this person. This Ten of Cups here. 
Um, there is like no harmony dealing with this individual. Like I told you, this person has no fucking soul. The judgment card in reverse. They have meddling family members too as well. Y'all do have small kids for some of you guys. Okay, but there's a separation. Y'all are not on the same flow of things. That's what I'm getting here. The Ace of Wands, you need to go about your business, Leo, and follow your passion. You showed up here. Yeah, the Three of Wands here in reverse. The Eight of Wands here, the Love. Yeah, that's what you need to do, Leo. Go on about your business and follow your passion. As I split the deck, you have a Six of Wands and the Six of Cups here. It's time to go back to that childlike state, Leo. Okay, go back in the past. Um, something here about the past that will make you very successful. Don't set, don't set, don't second guess yourself, Leo. Like to, to just like move forward. What else you want to tell Leo? What's the outcome with all this? What else you want to tell Leo, Spirit? emperor see how the emperor stable energy and as i said that 21 21 shows so that's three three. Oh, the hair font this is beautiful oh my god you're gonna find order the six of cups here some of you guys may even be reuniting with a parent or some of you guys may have lost custody of a child. But order is about to set place. You see this? May have Aquarius on your chart. Look at these major arcanas. Order is about to set place. So no matter how big this devil try to portray himself, uh-uh. Some of you guys could possibly be dealing with um like past hurt from childhood too as well. Six of Cups. Maybe a mother is trying to come back, but this is beautiful. Stability. This is like a rebirth. Order. Some of you guys may get heavy into religion and praying. This is like stable freaking energy. And the divine, okay, is right there by your side is what I'm seeing. I'm going to do this right quick and then I'm going to be done with it. Some of you guys could be going through counseling too for healing. Counseling, if you're not, if you're dealing with any type of like PTSD, um, childhood trauma, like counseling will really work for you. Okay. What else you want to tell Leo? Hope. Beauty. Playfulness. This is beautiful. Give another one. And Grove. So I'm getting a sense like with this hope, you have a full moon here. And usually in tarot, when you're dealing with full moons, it means that there's a cycle, there's a time, there's a period of time that's been taken for um, a long period of time. Um, some things some things that could have possibly have set you back. Spirit wants you to get out and play and enjoy life, okay? Um, some of you guys may be obsessed, thank you, Spirit, of things that may have possibly have like controlled you. In other words, you are obsessed with things that have happened to you in the past. You know what I'm saying? And this is like you as a child looking at this big, whatever it is that may happen to you in the past, you're looking at it, thinking, how can I slay this? Like, this is this is bigger than I am. Some of you are obsessed with shit that have happened in the past, and it's time for you to let it go. And once you start to play and get in that childlike state, this is where the healing takes place. This is where the order, the hair fine, the boss move, the stability takes place. Okay. And the beauty. What's the bottom of the deck? Differences. Decisions. So with that being said, oh Leo, I hoped I have helped you guys. And I'll see you next time.